is the 4th of January and I thought I'd pick up the camera and do my very first vlog of the year. Um, today is quite exciting too because we have some bigger deliveries arriving, namely the sofa. But I also have some deliveries I thought I'd show you guys throughout the video. Um, but yeah, usually on a Monday or in the mornings, I feed the four cats. I give my coffee for my hubby, he goes to work. And I catch up with every, you know, messages that um, my colleagues in Hong Kong are texting me for. Um, so Mondays are also usually the days where I like to do my main chores. So, well, first of all, I have to empty the dishwasher in a bit. But, um, like vacuuming, mopping the floor, doing the cleaning, just to get the house ready well, for the sofa and um, for the week ahead. Otherwise, I'm going to reply on some emails, do some work, and then bring you guys along and show you guys when the sofa arrives, which is super exciting. Um, but yeah, I got a slightly ready. I usually like to get semi-dressed. Um, however, unfortunately, you know, over the weekend, UK, well, my area is currently in tier four lockdown. So, well, that doesn't really changes anything for me at home but then during the weekend we definitely stayed in quite a bit um, but otherwise I'm going to get ready as well later on and show you guys if there's some exciting things arriving so talk soon and I'll bring you guys along you know, for the day spent the morning doing some work obviously but since my Hong Kong team is off I'm going to unbox some stuff because some stuff just arrived and nothing too exciting I don't think it's from Amazon and I have some pieces to unbox with you guys as well just because obviously with the new home I we also you know lack of cutlery so that's what we bought but yeah I thought it would be fun to unbox with you guys Otherwise, I'm going to get going with tidying the house in a bit. So I think this is just for my little cats, just because we never had a container that houses their food. So they kind of have a very strong smell, obviously, because it's um, pet food. So I thought we are bought some big containers. So these are from Lock and Lock. Nothing too exciting, um, but I thought you know it would be nice to keep put the um, pet food inside. But I think these need to be washed. Hopefully they will fit in the utility. Yeah, and I carry it like that as well. Should do. It's quite heavy duty. So Lock and Lock. Yeah, it should lock. Oh, there's a oh, it's broken plastic. I think that also means I need to return this. Let's just go ahead and see. I think this is fine. So, okay. damaged unfortunately but besides that we also got some packages so this is some of the packages that I also ordered some of them are from another company called Fright HHG I think it's like a small business in London but um, yeah let's see so this is kind of their logo 
and I wanted obviously some mugs to drink from so I don't think I have this anymore I've ordered two of these mugs I think they're more of like a coffee cup so they're a little bit smaller so they're kind of like a nice bone china I think this is yeah in-house kind of brand but I bought two of these so they're very nice they're so pretty but um, I want to get like the bigger size however I think the bigger size are out of stock so this is what it looks like but I'll have these for now so I got two of these and then obviously Zara home you can't you know um, complain about Zara home however when ordering from Zara I realized that if you order from Zara home especially like if I have one order they will split into three different packages to ship which is kind of annoying so yeah that's one of the things that I don't like about Zara but let me push it out a little bit further but from Zara I just got some um, basic cutleries so we have a knife, a silver knife, two teaspoons and I like that the handle it's quite like uh, ed not edgy but like quite nice and I got some dessert plates but I only ordered one which is kind of silly for me I ordered two I think but I think two is quite a small amount as well like if we have some friends over then I won't have the enough set but this one has a nice kind of sorry about the noise has some kind of like a nice um, silver rim to it so I thought it's quite classic uh, because the utensils that we have right now it's kind of like a matte black color but they rub off so easily so I don't want to get matte black anymore but uh, yeah so I swapped out for these um, silver cutleries and I want to add some I feel like these are more classic though they do need a wash so I think I'll, I'll order two more of those I have this beautiful spoon I guess this would be beautiful but you know at the age where spoons are more beautiful this one has a very nice sharp edge to it and I just like the handle it's quite minimalistic but also like nice looking two more knives see they come in so many different packages and i think we are in desperate need of forks so we have this nice fork also from the same series i also got these as you can see from the coffee that i was drinking just now I also got two of these kind of like tumblers I think like glass tumblers and they're very nice and heavy weighted and obviously we drink coffee from it it's like very nice to look at so I got those two from Zara I made a sneaky order um, from Cult Beauty just because I feel like with new year I want to invest a little bit more into my skincare and because over the winter with all the heating in the house um, my skin was actually so dry like my nose was actually flaking so I ordered a Dr. Barbara Stern uh, face cream in the rich series and it worked really well so I'm interested in discovering more of the Dr. Barbara Stern products so I ordered their eye cream obviously you know this is very like luxury skincare but you do have to want to invest in yourself so I got a Dr. Bravo Stern eye cream and I really like their packaging very simplistic looks nice in the bathroom and I like how it is sealed so we'll see how this goes I also currently using the Versal Acne um, face wash which I think is alright it's not too drying so I thought I'd order the day cream with retinol in it uh, day cream moisturizing it also has an SPF of 30 which I like hmm. oh actually but however I feel like the bottle is a little bit plasticky Stockholm not sure but it looks nice 
Not sure how it will look, let's see. Yeah, it definitely feels very plastic because Verso is also not like the price point is quite up there. And like similar to Dr. Barbara's Sturm as well, but it was very thick cream. But anyway, my hands are really dirty at the moment with all the packaging. Well, at least this feels quite nice. Doesn't really have a that strong smell as well. Anyway, but I'll report back. That's just not really homeware, but um, that's something that I ordered. Lastly, from made.com, I saw these glasses before I moved in. I didn't want to order them just because I don't want to move glasses and then they became out of stock, which is so sad. But luckily, I was able to find them in stock just in time. Um, I signed up for their like email me when it's back in stock. That didn't work. I was just randomly like on a drive and then locked, locked into the website and they were in stock. But these are kind of like a scallop or shell-ish kind of glass. They are a little bit bigger than the Zara ones that I have. But actually, I like the size more. This is a little bit bigger, but still very aesthetically pleasing. These are oh, I have four of these, so I'm good for glasses in a you know at home right now. So yeah, now I've got to tidy all of these up. You know, arrange the recycling. I'm gonna clean the house so that my sofa can arrive in a clean home. Hi guys, so I just spent about two hours cleaning the house. I vacuumed everything, mopped everything, did the dishes, the mundane reality of things um, but luckily whilst I was doing so the sofa arrived so just a little bit more information about the sofa we ordered it from Swift Home and um, they're just like an Instagram brand I uh, discovered um, but basically I previously before we moved I ordered a swatch I saw their model of three which I love the shape of and we wanted a modular sofa to go with this space here and once we moved in um, we looked at the swatch see how it fits in the house and we placed an order so supposedly another thing about swift is they deliver the sofa within 24 hours and it's supposed to take like five minutes to assemble um, the boxes came in they're pretty big i don't think it would take me five minutes Sorry, my cats. Um, but I wanted to do it before my hubby comes back. So we'll see if that is possible. So let's load the boxes into the living room first. So that's all the boxes. Now we just have to unpack it. Wow, that definitely took a lot longer just because I'm working on my own. But I unboxed all of the sofas and ah, I think I love it. I love it. It's, it fits the space so much. So what it is, is, is a modular um, sofa. So you pick and choose you know, what you want. I didn't pick the configurations that they had. I had a corner one with a um, middle part and then an ottoman. So let me give you guys a close up of the sofa. So this is what the sofa looks like. Again, this is from Swift. I picked the linen in the permis, permis color. But yeah, I thought it goes well with the room. And I like how deep the seats are and how low profile the back are. So all we need to do is um, to assemble, all we need to do. This corner, I didn't know how to do it yet, so I'm gonna wait till for my hubby. But as you can see, there are kind of like clips on the side here, and you just kind of like slide it in. Sounds easy, but I think if you have like a two-man 
it's like more like a two man job. If you have two person helping you or one person helping you, then it would be so much easier. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's linen though. So because I have four cats, I really hope that they will not scratch it. Otherwise, maybe I'll get like um, a fro over it. But I haven't even tried to sit on it yet. So hold on, let's see. I love it. <laughs> but now I think I'm going to shower just because, gosh, it was so much work just to unbox all of these and unpack and put it together, clean the house. I think I deserve a nice shower, but I think after the shower, I'm just going to make some food. And yeah, I'm so happy about this sofa. Can't wait till hubby's reaction. So catch you guys in a bit. I'm so sorry about my parents. I just ran into the shower, but I'm going to shower again and wash my hair tonight. I filmed a time-lapse video for my Swift sofa. That was the workout of the day, seriously. You know, I couldn't just wait and have, wait for my hobby to come back when the boxes are sitting right there. <laughs> um, I love the sofa, but I'm worried that my cats will like it too. That means they will scratch it and stuff. So hopefully I can look for some froze to put it on top or whatnot. But otherwise, I think Swift have kind of like a pickup boxes service. So I'm just going to take a look and see if anyone can help pick up the boxes for me. I'm just going to make some lunch. We have some leftover Japanese curry, I think. Yeah, that's it for the day, I think. It's only 3.21. It's a little bit dark, but well, it's not too dark. I'll see what I can get on right now. I'm just going to have lunch just because I still haven't eaten anything. And that, I'll, I'll insert the time lapse right now. But as you can see, it's definitely a lot harder than it is. So um, anyway, I'm not going to ramble on too much. Um, we'll see what we get on later on this afternoon. you guys I'm gonna wrap up the vlog today because I'm going to be preparing dinner we're going to have the remaining leftover curry which is obviously a lot and we have some tomato egg soup from the weekend and I'm gonna make some honey garlic chicken wings I don't know I'm not sure even if this vlog is interesting but yeah just making these videos just make mundane tasks like vacuuming mopping a little bit more interesting um i hope you guys kind of like this video and just let me know what you think of the sofa yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see what i come up with in the next one take care guys bye